the drug development funnel. How do we find effective treatments? Finding new medicines to treat diseases is a long process with many steps. Compounds must pass through the drug development funnel before they can be approved for use in humans. The first step in the drug development funnel is basic research discovery. Here, scientists try to learn what causes and drives a disease or its symptoms, and what processes can be targeted to help treat the disease. Researchers often publish their findings in peer-reviewed journals to inform the research community. The second step in the funnel is drug discovery. This is when researchers test promising drug-like compounds to treat the causes of a disease found in step one. To do this, compounds are generally first evaluated in test tube or in vitro experiments in cultured cells. Some labs may test thousands or even millions of compounds in a year. The compounds that show some positive effects are called HITs. The HITs that show promise in cells move on to step three. The third step in the funnel is lead identification or lead optimization. In this step, the drugs are often tested in animal models. This is called in vivo testing, which allows researchers to observe if a drug is effective in living organisms. It's also important for weeding out drugs that are toxic. Drugs that show effectiveness in animal models without being harmful are called leads and can move on to step four. Step four is clinical trials. This is where the drugs are finally tested in humans. There are generally three phases of clinical trials. In phase one trials, drugs are tested in small groups of healthy volunteers for safety. In phase two trials, drugs are tested in groups of up to a few hundred people who have the disease. Phase two trials assess safety and efficacy. In phase three trials, drugs are tested in up to several thousands of people with the disease. Phase three trials take one to four years and evaluate the overall risks and benefits of a drug. If a drug passes a phase three trial, it can be submitted to the FDA for approval. This process, on average, can take 10 years. Because ALS is such a devastating condition, Robust advocacy efforts aim to accelerate the FDA approval process for ALS drugs. After going through the drug development funnel, researchers go from thousands or millions of compounds to only a handful of potential drugs. So how does our work at ALS TDI fit into this funnel? To quickly find effective treatments for ALS, we apply a comprehensive approach, one which informs all areas of the drug development funnel. We begin at step one, with basic research into how ALS works. We do this by studying ALS pathology, searching for biomarkers, and by creating new models of the disease. Our team then moves on to step two, where we begin to test compounds. Our scientists look to find hits in cell models and new targets for effective drugs. In step three, we explore the pharmacology of the hits invented by our team or by collaborators. We conduct in vivo testing in various animal models of ALS. We identify potential leads from step three, as we did with AT1501 and we then identify pathways to try to test these in human clinical trials. While we can't control what happens in step four, clinical trials, we are working to make them faster and more efficient through our precision medicine program. ALS is complex. There won't be one drug to cure all ALS cases. Our mission at ALS TDI is to find as many potential treatments as quickly as possible. We won't stop until there are treatments for every person with ALS.